All right, good afternoon everybody. It's Japanese Irish Highlander and I'm in uh, Valley View Provincial Park in um, just outside Bridgetown, Nova Scotia and I decided on my way to the reenactment that I'm taking part in this coming weekend that I'd actually do a little camping. So I wanted to field test some of my gear and thought it would be a good idea so I set up. I'm going down to stay with my, uh, my family on my dad's side uh, for the rest of the week, except for the days that we're actually at the fort in uh, Fort Ham. Now, unfortunately, uh, when I dug out some of my gear, um, one of the things that I noticed was that my sleeping bag has got some basic mold on it. That's, uh, that's not going to put a cash pot or anything, but um, I got some uh, baking soda and some water. I'm going to scrub that out, so hopefully by bedtime uh, it'll be, I'll be able to sleep in it. Um, I have... Uh, back up uh, just in case um, I have blankets and things like that it's not supposed to be too cold this evening but uh, if I have to sleep in my pajama pants and my sweatshirt uh, well, okay fine right but uh, I also have a, um, a jungle sleeping bag but I'm a little kind of big for it right now I gotta lose some more weight for that um, I was in a hurry to get going in the morning um, and I forgot to pack my uh, my gas stove. I have a little gas stove I can make tea in the morning. But um, a little trick that I picked up as well when you're talking about doing camping and stuff. Um, to make it a little easier, if you have the time and energy, I actually stopped and got myself a pizza. So I, I have uh, stuff for breakfast as well, um, which is going to be um, probably muffins and cookies. And also I got myself some ice cream and stuff. So I'm going to have a nice evening. Um, I brought along a book. I got some movies that I downloaded on this uh, phone, but uh, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's a really nice, you can see the lead, you know, the wind blowing through the trees and everything else. I'm um, very close to a, a, a dump toilet, and also I have a, a water tap just up uh, the path, but the pièce de résistance is, there's a shower facility up at the top of the hill, so I'll probably have a nice shower tonight and I'll probably take another one tomorrow but uh, I was just so excited to to get going this morning uh, I finished all my chores up at home and I said I, I get on the road so I was gonna stop at my at my favorite um, hobby shop as well and uh, that didn't open till about uh, 11 I didn't feel like sitting around for two hours so I actually went down to Greenwood went to the uh, aviation museum there uh, I actually went into the Canucks and got myself a new army sweater because I am going to be an army officer from um, September, so I got myself a new army shirt. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool. I'm going to have a nice relaxing evening. Uh, I don't have to pull out of here until about 1, so I can, you know, I can sleep in uh, if I like. It, this is a pretty cool thing. Uh, all my stuff is actually quite easy to disassemble as well, and it folds back up into my uh, into my uh, military backpack I have, and the modern tent can fold up and just go in the back trunk. I also have my 18th century gear in there too, so it should be a very interesting um, week. Uh, I'm gonna be down here till the 7th, I'll go back home, and then from the 8th, I actually uh, am able to report back to work with the uh, Corps Commissioners in Halifax, and we'll see what's gonna happen with that. Anyway, just a little quick video, um, and we'll see what's gonna happen for the rest of the evening. <laughs> 